the UK and the City of London actually in particular has spent the last 12 hours under a deluge from continental Europe. However, this has been rains and storms in the, up, in the, in the run up to what is probably going to be one of the most momentous days in the UK political history. We're on D-Day. This is the day that the UK decides whether it's going to continue its membership of the European Union. There's a palpable buzz in the city today. People are, people are confident on the Remain side. However, you can't but help listen to that little edge of concern. It's neck and neck. Everybody appreciates it. There have been one or two issues that have maybe pushed the pollsters mo towards the Remain camp. However, time after time, in fact, in the last election, the pollsters got it woefully wrong. And there's going to be some very, very furrowed brows, I think, from 10 o'clock onwards in the, in the City of London. There's a lot of events on this year, the, today where I think, I think a number of the uh, senior figures in the city and in the insurance market will be doing what's commonly known as an all-nighter tonight as they wait to see just what, sort of, just what sort of situation they're going to wake up to tomorrow. Because when David Cameron steps, onto, steps, steps out of Downing Street, he's either going to have the biggest smart grin on his face he, that, that we've seen for many a year, or I think he's going to be a very much a condemned man. It is on a knife edge. Insur the insurance market is warning just how bad this could be for it. However, if you talk to the Brexit teams, they're turning around saying this could well be a new dawn for Britain, not only as a country, but as a, as a financial services centre. The fact is, the people will speak and we're going to have to wait and hear what they've got to say.